Many creators struggle with the best way to onboard new students to their online course or membership site. Have you ever wondered what is the best landing page to send a potential student to? Or when is it best to send a potential student to your checkout page? Well, in this video, I'm going to cover a bunch of popular scenarios as well as the most appropriate uh, landing page to send your student to for onboarding them with each one. If you'd like to see more videos like this one about how to grow your online knowledge business, please click like and subscribe below. Hi, I'm Brian McAnulty, the founder of Heights Platform, online course creation software that helps creators like you monetize your knowledge and get your students' results. So let's jump into it. So here we are in a demo Heights Platform account that is for a photography business that is teaching how to turn your photography hobby into a profession. First thing we're going to do is go down to the payment settings here. And now when we're on the payment settings page, we're going to go to the product list tab. And what I want to show you here is the product list will show you all of the bundles, all of the courses, all of the digital products that you have for sale in your program. And the important thing to note is that we've got a checkout URL and a landing page URL for each one here. Now, to keep things simple, uh, we'll go to uh, the landing page URL for a specific course. Um, in this case, let's look at this one. This is called From Hobby to Business. It's about how you can take your photography hobby and turn it into a business. We see here it's got the price, it is published, it's not hidden, and it does have landing page checkout enabled. So we click on copy landing URL, and that's copied. Now we can open that up here. And what we're looking at now is the landing page URL of this individual course. Now it's got the description of the course, we can see the curriculum of the different lessons. And we've got, of course, the option to purchase that course here as a pot potential student. And if we click on Enroll Today, now we're on the checkout to go ahead and start purchasing this. And what we're looking at now is actually the other option here, the checkout URL. So if we go here and copy this and go and open that in a new tab. And now this is the checkout URL. But you'll notice there's a slight difference here versus what I showed you just before. Now we're already on step two because here we're already logged in. Um, so it's showing us the payment method because uh, we're already logged in as the admin or creator. And a, uh, a easy tip here is what I did before is I actually opened that in a incognito window. That way we could just see step one uh, of what the potential student would see before they created their account. So that's a, a nice thing to do is to open any registration pages in a incognito window to make sure you can stay logged in that way as a creator in your main browser window, but in your private browsing window or your incognito window, you can see the actual complete signup process as if you were a new student uh, without having to log out from your main account. So here we've got the checkout page URL. And now, why would you want to use this one over the other one or use the landing page URL over this? Well, there's a couple different scenarios that I'm going to go into. The first thing would be, let's go back to the landing page URL, because this is probably going to be the more popular option. Now, let's say you're doing something like you're filming a video like this one, and you're talking to your potential students about, in this case, photography, and you want to invite them to your offer and say, if you want to learn more about this and how to turn your passion for photography into a business, take a look at our course here, and you could link them right to this page. And uh, maybe you'd also do that through a newsletter, through um, a blog post, through something else where you can explain what you have to offer and then kind of direct the student here. So the idea being that you want to build up some kind of desire and uh, perception of value with your course. So when the student arrives at this page, they um, can understand that the value that this is going to offer them 
and they want to go ahead and make that purchase. Um, as this page is right now, if you're thinking about this uh, from the eyes of a marketer, it's a little bit sparse because we don't really have too much of a description here. So if we wanted to kind of just have people end up here without going from some other source that we're directing them to here, we'd probably want to add a little bit more content in the description as far as what's included. Heights also lets you add a link here with a button for a video preview. If you want to show a video preview of your course to show students what it's going to include. But the basically what I'm describing there is the same scenario for if you would want to send somebody to the checkout page. So probably if you are a creator, you won't want to send the student directly to the checkout URL here because it's not really showing much to the potential student, right? They have a form and they can purchase something, but they don't really understand why they need to purchase this or what it's going to give them. So it's probably not going to work out the best to just send them directly to the checkout page. You'd want to send them to the landing page or somewhere else first to build up that desire so they understand what is the actual value they're going to get from purchasing your particular course. Um, that said, the reason that a checkout URL like this exists is maybe you have some separate external sales page that you have on a, another website that is not Heights Platform. And you are already describing everything that's included in the course, everything that's involved in the course there, and you want to place a buy button on that site. And then in that case, you wouldn't want the student to have to go through this page and then click buy again. You might want to send them directly to the checkout in Heights. So that would be the appropriate scenario for you to use the landing uh, the, or the checkout URL instead of the landing URL. And now if we go back here um, into our creator dashboard, there is uh, one more option for landing pages, and that is your uh, program landing homepage. So when we go here and uh, preview what this looks like, we can see that this is more of a, a general uh, website homepage. And we've got our uh, description here. We've got the courses that we have for sale, the curriculum and the lesson list for each course, a bio about the creator, and some testimonials. And there's a couple scenarios where you might want to use this page. So this page, when it's enabled, is going to act as the homepage for your entire site, um, meaning like your subdomain at heightsplatform.com, or in the case of you're using a custom domain uh, when somebody visits your custom domain. Now, in what we saw so far, we had the individual course that we were selling. So if we wanted to use this page and sell individual courses, we could have our courses listed here. We have the different prices on them. And if the landing page is enabled for a particular course, the potential student can actually go here and click on this. And that actually takes them right to the landing page URL that we saw before for that individual course, and then they could go ahead and buy it. So this page acts as a homepage to describe everything that you have to offer and to show um, what you prefer to show. You can have some courses hidden um, or, or not displayed here, but it could show all the courses, the bundles, the digital products that you have to offer in your program. Now, there's one more scenario where you might want to use this page. And that is the situation where maybe as a creator, you don't want to sell individual courses. Maybe you want to sell a membership site where your students are purchasing the entire program as a membership, where they're going to get everything that's included in it. And you're selling uh, basically access to all of your content as a singular membership. So you could use this page for that and have this enroll button will go through your registration process, which would then be paid. So if we click on this, um, again, I'm going to open it in an incognito window down here. Uh, so that way we're, we're logged out and we can see what the first step looks like. And so now you'll see we're at the account creation step. And if we go to step two here, it would be a separate student checkout. Um, let's go take a look at that actually in our uh, pages here. So we go to web pages. 
and uh, go to Terms and Checkout pages and Student Checkout. And so here we could set things like a refund policy, billing details, add testimonials. And if we preview this, we'll see that this now looks a little bit different um, because now we're not selling an individual course again. We're selling the idea of the entire membership of courses that might be included here. So uh, students would enter their payment details and then they could choose a payment option. And you have your other details here and your testimonials. So to describe quickly how we might set this up now in Heights, if we go to our payment settings again, and this time we're gonna to go to the program pricing tab, you can see here that we have it enabled to say charge students for enrollment. And this is the option you would wanna choose if you're selling the singular membership over individual courses or separate bundles of different courses or products. And here we're offering an option for one-time payment and an installment plan. We might also say that we want to offer a subscription plan payment um, instead. Maybe we have only the subscription plan, for example. But in the case where we want to sell individual courses, uh, like what's what we first saw with the selling from hobby to business on its own landing page, we'd actually want to have this set to free enrollment because then the student's not paying to enroll, they're paying for a different individual products. So that would allow us then to Let's say we have this course here, this test course that we're not finished. This maybe we want to offer as a free course to students as kind of an introduction. And then the students who want to continue, they could go in and decide, well, now I want to purchase um, the next course here from Hobby to Business or acquiring your first client. And the way that would work is a student might sign up through that individual free courses landing page. They might sign up through um, the page we saw before of this landing homepage. And then they would arrive here at the course list. Um, let's say that this course was published and we had some content. This is the free course. They would also see these two courses available for them to potentially purchase. And so they could go here and click on this. And since we're logged in as the creator, we're going to switch this to the purchase page to preview that. And so this is kind of like the internal landing page for this particular course if the student already had an account and was already signed in. So in this case, now the student could click here and now their checkout is built right into your Heights program. And in this example, let's say the student purchased something from you before, now you've already got their payment information. So we're making it really easy for your student that all they have to do is click complete purchase and then they will automatically get access to this course. Uh, switch it back to the regular course page then this is what they would see. They'd then be able to click on the lessons and actually go through the course and uh, complete the lessons that you have. So I hope that is a good overview of the different scenarios of when you might want to use one particular checkout solution or landing page over another inside Heights platform. If you have any other questions, I would encourage you to Take a look at our payment guide tab inside your payment settings. Um, we describe kind of the three main options that you'd have, um, which you may or may not want to combine with each other in a way, which is basically selling bundles of content. So a collection of courses, um, projects, digital products, message boards, um, or selling individual courses, individual products, or selling a complete program as a paid membership. And uh, clicking on each of these will take you to the uh, help article for each one, as well as uh, video tutorials to kind of walk you through uh, all of that. But uh, what I would do is I would want to definitely encourage you to reach out to us at support at heightsplatform.com. Uh, just send us an email with any questions you have, either about using Heights Platform or about course creation in general. So we're more than happy to help walk you through that because every creator has a different technique or a different uh, end goal in mind that they want to sell a particular course, they want to sell a membership, they want to sell these multiple tiers of subscriptions, and so on. So if you have a Heights account, uh, I'd encourage you to check this out and try out to see what is best for your business. If you don't yet have a Heights Platform account, please uh, go to heightsplatform.com and sign up for a 30-day free trial. There is no credit card required. 
you can just easily sign up, start creating your program right away. And I hope this video was helpful. Stay tuned for some more videos on the online course creation process inside Heights and the general how to create and sell online courses and better promote them to your potential students. Thank you.